Hello there. Welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Today is Friday, the 14th of June, 2024. And our topic today is Holy Grounds. Holy Grounds. Let us pray. Father, thank you because you are the Holy God. Thank you because you are the one that can sanctify and make holy. Today, as we review and learn about holy grounds, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you show us, you reveal to us what makes grounds holy and help us to make the best use of these grounds as you would have us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your word. We accept it. We open our hearts to accept all that you want to speak to us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord and welcome once again. Our Bible text is Exodus chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5. Exodus 3, 1 to 5. I read from the New King James Version. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse today is from Joshua chapter 5, verse 15. And it says, And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. We have seen the case of Joshua and Moses, who were instructed to take off their shoes from their feet by virtue of the fact that the ground that they were either treading on already or the ground they were attempting to tread on were holy grounds. So it means that there are grounds that are holy or grounds that have been made holy by God. Praise the Lord. Now, that the Jesus says in today's daily, uh, today's devotional, it says any ground that hosts the manifest presence of God is holy ground and such ground carry great power. So what makes a ground holy is the fact that it carries the manifest presence of God. And in the accounts we read in Exodus chapter five, chapter three and Joshua chapter five, we see that in the case of Exodus, there was the angel of the Lord that appeared to Moses in the burning bush, calling Moses' attention. It was time for Moses' you know, ministry to deliver the Israelites to, began, to begin. And he was being called towards God. The Bible says when God saw that he turned and looked, when God saw that his attention had been caught and he was drawing there, that was when God spoke to him to say, take off your shoes. Don't come you know, any further. Where you are standing is holy ground. And the case of Joshua, the Bible says that the captain of the Lord's host, so Joshua was having a conversation with the captain of the Lord's host, a captain of the Lord's host that came from heaven, a manifest presence of God, an angel of God sent an assignment, the captain of the host of heaven sent an assignment. So there are times or moments where God has his manifest presence on grounds that might have been previously not termed holy, but that ground becomes holy by virtue of the fact that it now carries the power of God. It carries the presence of God. Praise the Lord. We also see the account in, in uh, the Bible where it was the, uh, um, Elijah that needed to be taken up into heaven and there was chariots of fire. And then, we, it, you know, Elisha saw this mantle being dropped, the mantle of Elijah being dropped. And as he bent down to pick it, the Bible records that his hand touched the ground in which the chariots of fire had passed. And that moment, 
caused the transformation in the life of Elisha. And this shows us that interacting, treading upon holy ground clearly shows that we have interaction with power, raw power of God. In the case of Moses, when Moses was speaking to God, I was like, oh, how will they know you sent me? I know that God said, what's in your hand? It's a rod, just a rod, very dry wood. And God so told him to drop it onto the ground. And the moment he dropped it onto the ground, it, because that ground was holy, that was what activated power in the rod of Moses. Exodus chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. And the Lord said unto him, what is that in thy hand? And he said, a rod. And he said, cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it, from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, put forth thy hand and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand and cut it and it became a rod again in his hand. That's what happens when we are in contact with the holy ground, whether it's our body or any object that comes in contact with the holy ground of God will begin to carry the power of God. And this tells us that we cannot joke with holy grounds. We cannot joke with places where God meets with people regularly. We cannot joke with such places probably some of us might be wondering oh why do people go on tourists and all of that to see you know israel jerusalem and all of that jesus walked those lands we cannot joke with holy grounds we cannot joke with places that god himself has visited even while he was in the flesh today in the, today's devotion and the jesus says don't joke with any ground that is holy if you are on a ground that you know God descends on regularly, take advantage of it and get all you can from God before you leave that place. That is simply saying, make the best use of the opportunity. Don't trivialize it. Don't, you know, be nonchalant about it. Get all that you can get in that moment. I pray in the name of Jesus that every contact we have with holy ground, we will make the best use of it in the name of Jesus. First, by the Spirit of God, we will be able to recognize that we are standing on holy ground and we will do all that is required of us by the Spirit of God to make the best use of that ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that in our interactions with holy grounds, with places where you visit, places where you anoint people, places where you heal people regularly, Lord, we ask that we will not trivialize the moment or trivialize the ground but we will maximize our spiritual encounters with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen.